Hi there and thanks for joining me. So in today's video what I'm going to do is just run over the basics of options trading and what it is. Um, now before I carry on full disclaimer I'm by no means an options trading expert. I've only really become interested in options trading this year. I'm mainly well my main thing is cryptos and cryptos trading that's what I'm passionate about so I really enjoy. But obviously the crypto market's very volatile at the moment so I was looking for other up, um, trading strategies in order to counter what's happening in the crypto market and stumbled across options trading and it was very very interesting so I'm still learning too but what I'm going to do is I've got two great websites here that I'm going to flick through with you um, just to give you the basic understanding of options now I'm not going to bombard you with information I'm going to go deep here uh, because I don't want to blow your mind. I think mean, it's very important not to have information overwhelm. You just want to understand the basics so you can decide whether it's right for you or not. Um, and also, if it is for you, you can just follow some very simple strategies so you can start playing to see if it's something you enjoy if you, or not, or if it's something that makes you money. So that's the purpose of this video. It's not going to be long or exhaustive. I'm just going to flick through it. So to try and get you up to speed fast or decide, or you can make a decision whether options trading is right for you or it's not something you're interested in. <clears throat> so let's get on um, with the video. Actually, before I carry on with the video, um, if you're sort of looking for um, an options trading financial advisory service or a course, I can highly recommend One Ticket Trader. This is this is a product from Larry Benedict. Larry Benedict is one of the top options trading experts in the world. I'm a member of this. I absolutely love it. Um, very, very simple to follow. Now, Larry um, follows a very, very simple strategy and he only trades options using just one tick and one strategy, making it very, very safe, um, but also very profitable. Um, so yeah, if you want to check out One Ticket Trader, it's only $19 to join. That locks you in for a year. I'm going to link to this page down in the description. You can come take a look um, and you can join if you want. Highly recommended. Um, it will get you started with options trading fast. So without out of the way, let's get into uh, the content. So I'm so CNBC have done a really quite a cool little um, article here about options trading. I'm just going to flick for it. Um, with you now just very quickly options trading has actually become very popular in the past couple of years um, amongst novice and obviously experienced traders um, and that's why there's been an explosion in options trading um, at the moment so I'm just going to read you what options are about from uh, CNBC because this explains it very simplicity so an option is a contract giving the investor the right or option but not the obligation to buy or sell a specific stock or ETF at a specified price also known as the strikes price for a specific period of time ranging from days to years when the specified time ends and the option expires it no longer has value and no longer exists unlike shares of, of stock an option does not represent ownership in the underlying company frederick says because it is a contract it represents the potential for ownership uh, but it must be exercised to make that happen so there's basically two types of options or two types of options that you can have. So you've got call options. These give the holder buyer the right to buy a specified number of shares, usually 100 of a stock or ETF at the strike price at any time until the contract expires. And then you've got put options. These give the holder the right to sell a specific number of shares of a stock or ETF at the strike price at any time until the contract expires. Um, now, how risky are options? Now, trade options trading can know to be quite risky and it can be quite complex to understand because there's quite a lot of different um, strategies and there's quite a lot of terminology to understand before you go. So really, my advice, really, if you're looking to get into options trading is just do some basic learning. Um, there's lots of resources out there. I'm, hopefully this will help you. Uh, just understand the basics because the big mistake most people make with any form of trading is just go in without any kind of strategy, without understanding the, the, the trades, strategies or anything <clears throat> they're doing. Just put money in and hope for the best. It's like the lottery. And most times you're going to lose 
all your money. And also it's important to say whatever trading you do, whether it's crypto, options or any other type of trading, never invest more than you can afford to lose. And you got to remember it's trading is more, unless you're going to do day trading, um, really the, <clears throat> the most winning with trading comes over the medium to long term and having a strategy in place. So what I'm going to do now is that gives you the basic understanding of uh, of options just going to sort of give you a few options trading strategies here um, that you can understand <coughs> excuse me so basically you know here's here's um here's uh, an example here buying a call option on oil so it says, for example, let's say you expect that the price of US crude oil to rise from 50 to $60 a barrel over the next few weeks. You decide to buy a call option that gives you the right to buy the market at $55 a barrel at any time within the next month. The price you pay to buy the option is known as the premium. If US crude oil price is above 55 the strike price for your option expires, you'll be able to buy in the market at a discount. But if it stays below $55, you don't need to exercise your right and you can simply let the option expire. In this scenario, all you'll have lost is a premium you paid to open your option. So buying a call option, oil, buy a call, call option if you think the market will rise. Uh, so that's your strike even or break, uh, break even point and anything above that is going to be profitable. So let's have a look at another um, one. What are call options? Buying a call option gives you the right, but not the obligation, to buy an underlying market at a set price called the strike or on or before a set date. The more the market value increases, the more profit you can make. So buying call options, buy a call option if you think the market will rise. So you buy, that's the strike price and anything above that is profit. You can also sell call options as, as a seller of a call option. You'll have the obligation to sell the market at the strike price if the option is executed by the buyer or expiry. Selling call options. Sell a call option if you think the market will fall. So that's the profit potential. If it's going to fall, you want to sort of sell um, but, uh, before reaching the strike price. So what are put, put options? Buying a put option gives you the right, but not the obligation, to sell the market at the strike price on or before a set date. The more the market value decreases, the more profit you make. Buy buying put options. Buy a put option if you think the market will fall. So this is all your profit potential. If you reach uh, if the stock goes below the strike price, you make a loss. You can also sell put options. As a seller of a put option, you will have the obligation to buy the market at the strike price if a buyer exercises the option on expiry. Selling put options. Sell a put option if you think the market will rise. So obviously anything above this is profit potential. What is leverage in options trading? Options are leverage products much like CFDs and spread bets. They allow you to speculate on the movement of a market without ever owning the underlying asset. This means your profits can be magnified as can your losses if you're selling options. For traders looking for increased leverage, options trading is an attractive choice. By choosing a strike and trade size, you can get greater control over your leverage than when trading spot markets. So there we go. You can also hedge with options. Hedging with options allow traders to limit potential losses and other positions that they may have open. Say you own a stock in a company, but worried that its price might fall in the near future, you could buy a put option on your stock with a strike price close to its current level. If stock price is down below the strike, your options expire, your losses will be limited by the options gains. <clears throat> if your stock's price increases, then you've only lost the cost of buying the option in the first place. So I'm just going to understanding some options trading terminology, holders and writers. The buyer of an option is known as the holder, while the seller is known as the writer. For a call, holder has the right to buy the underlying market for a writer. For a put, the holder has the right to sell the underlying market to the writer. Premium, fee paid by the holder to the writer for the option. When spread betting or trading CFDs on options with us, you'll pay a margin that works in this way to to the premium strike price price at which the holder can buy calls or sell parts of the underlying market on the options expiry expiry date um, the date at which the options contract terminates in the money when the underlying market's price is above the strike price for a call or below the strike price for a part the option is said to be in the money meaning that 
if a holder exercises the option, they'd be able to trade at a better price than the current market price out of money when the underlying market's price is below the strike for a call or above the strike for a putt. The option is said to be out of money. If an option is out of money at the expiry, exercising the option will occur a loss. At the money, when the underlying market's price is equal to the strike or very close to being equal to the strike, the option is rare too. As at the money break even point when the underlying market's price <clears throat> is equal to an option strike price plus for a call or strike minus premium for a putt your trade is at its break even point this means it isn't making a profit or a loss so that's all i'm going to cover today because hopefully that i don't want to blow your minds because you know options can't be sort of quite um complex and it could be quite hard to understand. So I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to options trading so you get a basic understanding of what they are and how they work. But my strongest piece of advice to you <clears throat> if you want to trade the options is do your research, read articles like this, go on YouTube. But my best piece of advice is follow someone who can teach you and give you great education, but also... <clears throat> um, give you great um, sort of picks of which stocks to trade. Now, as I said, um, Larry Benedict is one of the top traders, options traders in the world. Um, and he's been on Wall Street, been a hedge fund manager, and he's been using options to make money for his clients and himself for the past 30 plus years. And he has a very specific strategy where he make trade stocks time and time again using just one ticker and he's calling it the one ticker retirement plan and what he's done he's done an interview revealing his complete strategy of how he does it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to link to this video down in the description so if you want to come to his page you can come to his page click the button here and you'll be taken to his interview where he'll give you a little bit of a taster um, about his strategy uh, basically at the end of the video in full act of honesty and transparency um there'll be an option to buy his product one ticker trader so if you just want to jump all in and take one ticker trader i'm a member of this i absolutely love it um very very simple uh to follow you know larry's got working pdfs in there where he covers his whole one ticker retirement plan um gives his guide to options trading um can highly recommend it and it's just 19 dollars to join and that knocks your membership in for the year so if you want to join i'll pop a link down below so anyway i hope you found today's video useful and informative and it wasn't too overwhelming for you and if you do decide to trade options uh just be smart about it pick a you know take a chunk of money from your investment fund and just have a play and see how you get on but anyway thanks for joining me and i'll speak to you soon